I had like a little personal break with Warframe. I think I explained that in the other video that I posted, like either the last one or the last two videos ago, something like that. So basically, what was I doing with my time? Well, what the flip? Essentially, I was playing Resident Evil and I was playing all the remakes, 7, 8. I don't know why I wanted to play it. I'm going to be real honest with you, but I did. So I had already played Resident Evil 2 Remake uh, before, but... I I had like Resident Evil 3 remake in my library for so long. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to play it. And I ended up really liking it. It was it was really fun. But after I finished 3, I went straight to 4. Then I was like, you know what? I'm going to play 7. So then I played 7 and I literally got the absolute shit scared out, scared out of me. I see I I'm so I was so scared I can't even like express how scared I was in that moment because I'm stuttering but wow I don't remember it being that scary uh so then after that I went to Resident Evil 8 now I've told you guys I've played Resident Evil 8 when it first came out uh on the PlayStation and now I played it on the PC and man I forgot how good of a game it is like bro it was so fun like I actually spent like such a long amount of time trying to make sure that every room I went to was cleared out. Like I made sure every spot on the map was blue. Now, given I did leave like four spots red, I think what, like three in uh, Heisenberg's factory and then one in the Dimitrescu castle, but you know, whatever, we'll, we'll get back to it. I don't think there's an achievement for it, but you'll see what I mean uh, in this next part. I didn't even get to mention too, like along with me playing all of the resident evils, like, Dude, I literally played all of them in, like, almost, what, three days or four days? Dude, I pumped, like, 30 fucking hours playing through Resident Evil 3, 4, 7, and some some of 8. Like, dude, like, if I was to show you, right? Look at, look at my hours. So, Resident Evil 2, we don't count, all right? Because I beat that a long time ago. But let's start at Resident Evil 3, right? Seven hours... 21 hours, right? Eight and a half hours. Four I mean, the 14 hours, I, that was spread out um, from this week. So you could put, put it towards that. But dude, let's say I put 10 hours into this, right? So 10 hours, 18 and a half. Uh, we'll put that as a half. So what, like 19. That would be 40 hours. 47 hours so in two basically four days i put 47 hours into resident evil titles uh i don't know how healthy that is but i had fun doing it the reason why i did that was because i was like you know what i really like resident evil games surely you know they're making more and so I, th I think they described this already, but basically they made a post how they are going to make other Resident Evil remakes, you know, and I'm five is going to be up six. And after that, who knows? I mean, the way they said it is that they're making a lot more Resident Evil remakes. And I'm like, okay, five and six, what else can be remade? What you got code Veronica, uh, revelations. I don't even know if that got remade. I don't even fucking know. Uh, what and then i was like oh my god they can remake operation raccoon city like dude like just imagine it, it was already a four-player co-op imagine it all right so <laughs> stay with me here imagine live service right you sell skins which i think they were already doing back in 2012 when they sold uh operation raccoon city um but look live service you don't even need to put a battle pass. You don't need one. All right. Skins, cheap skins. Trust me, bro. You're Resident Evil. Your fans are going to do anything for that fucking franchise. Right. So I'm thinking, I'm like, bro, like, like, ironically, if they released Operation Raccoon City today, it would be one of the best co op games right now. Like, we got Helldivers, uh, going crazy we got lethal company power world like dude imagine operation raccoon city first of all the the four player co-op is fire right i i think the story's all right it was a little short 
but people seem to forget the multiplayer in it, all right? And in the game, not only was it four-player co-op, but you could play against another team of four other players in the same mission on the other side of the map, I think either doing the same objective or sabotaging the other players from doing their uh, objectives. And basically, whatever team extracted first, they won. Now, imagine doing that today, bro. Oh, my God. That would be so fun. Imagine that. Oh, man. That would actually be so fun. But uh, coming going back from the Operation Raccoon City, I feel like they really should make it. I mean, like, dude. First of all, I don't even know if you guys brought it back, like, onto the Steam Marketplace. But ever since, like, 2020 or something, that, that shit's been off of the Marketplace on Steam. Like, I have not been able to buy it. And I was like, you know what? I should be able to pirate it. But I was like, nah, I, don't, I mean, I'm not going to pirate this old-ass game, right? So, another place I got to check is PlayStation Store. I don't know. They they brought, like, a bunch of older games. I'll, I'll see if they got anything there. But, uh, I mean, what? The only other way to play is on the PS3. Dude, first of all, my PS3, I don't even know where it is. Uh, it's somewhere in this closet, right? All right, I have a PS3. I tried looking for a copy on like Amazon or G2A. Dude, why are people on Amazon selling Operation Raccoon City for $20? That is not worth $20. First of all, 10-year-old game, one, that automatically slices the price by like, 66 percent all right then it was it was even like like people didn't even like operation raccoon city as far as i know so that should even slice it more in half so it, it should actually be worth 10 if it was 10 dollars, i would buy it for sure but why is it 20 i don't think it's worth it but uh yeah i mean all the Resident Evil games, I mean, I plan on going back so I could 100% them. And since I played vanilla through all of them, I'm just going to go in with mods. I'll, I don't know, I'll probably use like nude mods or something. Have Leon swinging his shit around the fucking Raccoon City Police Department. But, I mean, yeah, that's basically my plans. I mean, I'm not going to do it now. I mean, I, I got that Warframe stuff planned, but... Definitely when I do get back to it, oh man, I'm going to go crazy. I mean, I already found my Ada Wong uh, nude ones. I saw the Claire. I saw Leon. I got those. Uh, and just in case, I don't feel like using them because they'll probably make me uncomfortable just looking at their naked butts the whole time. I'll probably just use... Uh, I, I found On the Fluffy Mod Manager, they have like preset mods already there for you to like, you know, just use. Uh, I'm probably going to use either the Mr. X enemy swap where like every enemy is mr x that'll be scary as shit i'll probably use that one i'll probably use the claire body swap for lady and devil may cry and i think there was another one for ada to where she was somebody else i can't remember but i'll definitely get that one and then i got like uh a cat outfit for leon i'm probably gonna use that one too that one that one looks fire but anyways i mean that's all i got I mean, I'm tired, bro. I got to go to bed, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Uh, that's about it. Bye.